A Honda Accord here. If you have years uh, 2003 to 2007 Honda Accord, four door or two door, and uh, your accessory socket here, the cigarette lighter, port here doesn't work. All right, right here. Uh, then the fuse is bad. All right, guys. And there's uh, a couple of sockets back here. So if either one is not working, this is your on the good video, years from 2003 to 2007. All right, guys. To check the fuse, you need a test light. But if you don't have a test light, it's okay. And uh, I'm going to just show you one thing. Right down here, if you go down here by the foot panel here, you're going to see... Uh, Something similar to this, all right? This is what you're gonna see down here. Let me just set up my light. Hopefully you guys can see it all. What you're gonna do is you're gonna put your finger right here. Well, let me position my light a little better. Better. Better will be better for everyone. All right, guys. Right down here, you're gonna pull this. Just pull outwards, all right? Put your finger in there like a hook. Just like that and oh get the light it's not a good spot for the light all right guys just give me a moment there you go that's much better so put your hook pull this you're gonna pull this or just like that right don't be afraid just pull it out right to put it back in all you're gonna do is you just push it back so pull it out and uh, if you look on this cover here itself, you're gonna see the list of the fuses on this, all right? If you're looking at the list of this, and if you put it just like that, so the fuses are just in the same position you would see here, right? And plus they have numbers on it. So the, it says ACC here, right? That means accessory, 7.5. 32 all right that's number 32 there and then uh, you can count backwards from this side one two it'd be a second fuse from that end all right so one two and then uh if you go down here in the last row you will see front accessory socket all right right there fr accessory 15 amp all right, so that's number nine. So if you look just like that, that's one, two, three, number three. So the second one on the top and third one in the bottom. So you would see it's a missing fuse here. That's pretty much not used. Right next to it is 7.5. That's the fuse I swapped earlier. It was not working. And, uh, and then uh, in the bottom, you will count one, two, three. So the blue one right here is uh, 15 amp and plus there's numbers you can really see up here right next to it they have numbers all right right above it and uh, you can follow the numbers or just count so what you do is you pull out these fuses to pull out these fuses you're not gonna be able to do it just by fingers you could you could either use a needle nose plier or let me show you what you can use all right guys i'm gonna take my light with me so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop the hood to pop the hood all you do is you pull this right here and the hood should release and once you release the hood you can pick up this hood by just pulling this outward and then lift it with the other hand and then the stand is hooked up over here this arm here and you can put that up there all right guys so right at the fuse right here by the air intake housing all right so this one what you do is you push these clips in and you could push two and then two and just yank it up right here you will find this little tool this is a tool right to pull the fuses so what you do you squeeze this and you pull this up right this is like a needle nose it pulls the fuse so to pull the fuse what you do is you just take it on top of the fuse just like this and it grabs the fuse and then you could just I'm not gonna pull out the fuse but then after that you just grip it just like that and just yank it out and it should pull out the fuse 
and to put the fuse you can put the fuse in either direction all right and then you could just push it back but i will suggest and then you put this right back in here right guys so you could take this inside and pull the fuses from inside with this and uh there might be a couple of spare fuses in this box let me see if i could find it here and uh it doesn't say here but i'm sure there's spare fuses you could buy the fuses from a regular store and uh let me see if i could locate any spare fuses here all right doesn't give me any uh, any spare fuses here but i'm sure there's spare fuses in here i would have to check all right and uh these might be spare fuses here let me pull one out and then see all right yeah this one is spare fuse you have a 20 amp here and a 30 amp here so there's not a 15 amp over here and uh yeah and then these are used all right so these two right here are spare fuses all right guys usually the fuses will blow the for those accessories because you connect it uh probably a pump for the tires or are you using a dc to ac converter and that would cause the fuses to blow but try not to do that guys but if the fuses do blow here's a video for you guys all right thank you and subscribe if you have any questions you can please uh, send me a message and i'm looking forward to anybody's comments all right guys thank you and bye bye and don't forget to subscribe